just wanted to give a quick update because when something works after I've complained about it, I like to report on that so that people know. Uh, over time, I was in contact with uh, Frozen's engineering team, and they, of course, helped me out and gave me G-code and settings that made a huge difference in the success. I got a nice pile of success here with maybe a few errors, a few legs failed to print. Uh, this one ran out of resin in the vat, but that was all right. It was more of an experiment for something large. Now, the big thing here is that what was the difference between what I was doing and what they suggested? And the really big difference was the light off delay, and that's it. Everything else was pretty much the same, uh, not enough to make a difference, just the light off delay. Now, light off delay seems to be encoded differently depending upon which slicer you use. Uh, Lychee includes the light off delay time in the movement of the build plate, but Chichu Box does not. So when I was using the same settings in Lychee, they would fail. The reason being that the I believe that the build plate needs to come to a complete stop and the resin needs to settle. When the build plate enters the resin, it swirls it around and the Sonic or the uh, Frozen resin uh, swirls. It's very liquid. It's not very thick, not syrupy like some of them are. So that might be the reason why the light off delay is the important difference. If I take away that light off delay, their settings fail. With it, it works. So I just make sure that I have a certain amount of time in a lychee slicer extra put in to account for how it calculates differently. Ongoing though, the problems of the layer line variations on flat surfaces continues. Um, yeah, this guy has it. You know, you can, I don't know if you can see them in the light there. But they're not consistent. Their position varies despite the fact that all of these are all, were printed. It was printed flat on the build plate. You see they got a slight elephant's foot. So the excessive lines versus, you know, normal layer lines. Normal layer lines are fine, but there are some excessive lines or heavy lines that are the pro continuing problem here. And they're different between each side of each of the pyramids here. And they're different between the inner and the outer little metal parts, even though all of these are on the same angle. So if it was a, an aliasing, the angle would... Uh, would be the same, so they all should have the lines in the same place, and they don't. So to me, that indicates that something else, probably some kind of x-axis vagarity, is uh, causing the print head to come down in a slightly different place each time. The only other oddity that I don't know if this camera can show, because I tried it before and it, it didn't really pick up on it, doesn't want to focus, but we're all familiar with the tree ring layer lines. I'm printing it at 0.05, so I expect them. Um, but on flat surfaces, uh, these striations occur. Now this was, when this was printed, of course, this axis, this flat surface here was flat, so it shouldn't have them, but sure enough, it has these uh, striations. And that has nothing to do with the uh, layer line effects that you, know, you end up causing tree rings or similar effects like up here. And it's on all the models, on every flat surface, you get striations. Now, I don't know what's causing them. It's kind of annoying. Uh, it reduces the quality. But again, it's really only a problem on something that's heavily technical because the curved surfaces and the high details pretty much hide it or it just doesn't exist there. So maybe it's a calculation problem or a software issue. I don't know which. But there it is. Uh, this guy's my bigger one. These guys are all uh, too small, so I had to rescale them using the old Dark Millennium Chaos Chosen as the uh, sizing tool for that. Nevertheless, as you can see, I can now print successfully and quite often. So yes, it works. I will post uh, links to the uh, G-code files so you guys can examine them and maybe someone who knows some of the secrets of the mythic G-code can maybe indicate uh, why they're 
system works better than mine. But again, these layer front line problems, these heavy striation problems remain, um, but they're really only I, really a big issue on flat surfaces or technical surfaces. It's annoying, but I suppose I could live with them unless someone maybe has an answer to that. All right, well, that's it. I'll let you guys stop staring at my dirty paint desk and have a good day.